Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. Happy Thursday evening. Uh, we are in the shave den and I am going to uh, do another wet shave today. You can tell I need it. I'm going to be using the scent, uh, the latest scent, one of the latest scents that come out with this, this doggone Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. They come out with scents, a new scents all the time. And this is Dana Eid. I, I thought it was Dan, Dan Eid, but Dana Eid, uh, which is an homage to Tom Ford's ombre leather. Now, I don't know if any of you own Tom Ford products out there, but I mean, I've got some expensive stuff. I've got the, uh, I've got the Creed, and uh, I really, I really enjoy the Savage. But Tom Ford stuff is very, very expensive. So I've never really had a chance to try any of the Tom Ford. So I'm told that this is an homage to that scent. So. Uh, I'm going to try it out on my wife and tell, uh, she smelled the bottle, but she goes, I need to smell it on you and see what she thinks. And it's kind of a tobacco scent. CK6 soap, nice hard soap. So this is going to be real nice. It's got a really pleasant smell. The tobacco scent is, if it's, it's there, but it's very mild. So it's really the aftershave that I'm going to have to be depending on. All right, and I'm going to be using the Parker variant. I had a lot of requests to try the Parker variant. And for those of you who have not tried this razor, you're thinking about getting this razor, just remember when you put the cap back on, there's a line on the cap that lines up with the line on the bottom. And if you don't have that correctly placed, that gap, look at the gap as I widen this. Gap gets bigger smaller. If you don't have that lined up right, uh, you can have some alignment issues. So let me pop this open. Hope your week is going good. Hope you're ready for the weekend. And I've got the uh, Gillette Menorah blade. It's kind of a mild blade. I'm going to give it another shot here. I'm going to open it up. It's the opening weekend of the superheroes movies. I think Ant-Man is starting. There we go. I don't know if you guys are going to go see that. It looks pretty good. I did kind of the opposite uh, superhero move last night. Hang on. Let me make sure I got that. <laughs> There's the line. You can see it. There's the line. Let me make sure that line lines up with that notch. And it does. I'm going to rack this down. I've got it all the way locked. And I'm going to open it up to... We'll start at like two and a half. We'll see how that goes. So anyway, so last night, you know, it's, you know, it's cold all over the world. Southern California doesn't get that cold, but it was in the 30s, maybe low 40s. And uh, we have central heating, but we've had a lot of wind, a lot of wind. And I was wearing my Eddie Bauer snow jacket, like a, it's a thin windbreaker, but I was picking up a lot of static electricity and I was touching the dog, the dog, I was shocked. You could almost see the sparks coming from my finger. Well, I went to adjust the temperature of the stupid thermostat and spark jumped, screen went blank. Have to have the AC guy, heating guy come today and uh, <laughs> fix the stupid display. So we had no heating last night. So it's been very cold in the house. When it gets into the forties, you know, the, it's not very good insulation in the houses here in Southern California. So. You know, it was cold. All right. So we've got that loaded up. Let me wet this face and get the shave started, shall we? And it's good to be back here with you. No. Let me put the uh, Simpson Chubby One Super Badger in here. Should have done that a little while ago. Sometimes... A little pre-shave, I just put a little, I always cut myself here, so I'm just putting a little pre-shave, using the soap as a pre-shave. All right. You got all the time in the world and you're not filming, you can take your time doing a shave. And I have seen some of, some of the shave guys videos, like 30, 30 minutes plus. YouTube always gives you, like, at the end of the month, suggestions, and if you've got a channel, they're always suggesting stuff. And, uh, 
You guys seem to like my videos right around or under 13 minutes. So you can fast forward. And that's okay. I heard from uh, Game Room Guys. That's the uh, company I bought the James Bond pinball machine from. They're going to be shipping this month. Stern's producing, I think, the pro version right now on the assembly line. They're going to go to the premium again. I ordered the premium. So it's definitely been a wait. And I definitely hope it's worth the wait. Heavy razor time. Okay, and I hope I don't cut myself because, see, that's where they burn me. I'm going to go real light in that area. Two and a half setting. It's kind of aggressive. It's taking it down in one pass and it's not cutting me. So I'm going to not back it off yet. Let's see what we do. Fits under your nose pretty good. Kind of twist it a little. See? See? Very good. There's a showroom in Anaheim. It's called the Captain's Auction Showroom or Captain's Auction Warehouse Showroom. And he's got 50 or so pinball machines in there. You can go in, go to the change machine, get your quarters and play like the old days at an arcade, but it's all pinball machines. And they have some really nice modern ones, including the James Bond LE. And I like to go get a little practice on that. So when my machine does come, I kind of know what I'm doing. Nice. Got me right here. Okay, can live with that. But I didn't open up the wounds. So I might do one more light pass. Gotta let the skin heal. And again, I'm just whipping this right up in the, uh, in the container that it came in. CK6 is very slick, 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 slick soap. Okay. Okay, very lightly here. And you know with these adjustable, on the second pass, you can dial it down or dial it up. You have a lot of choices. A lot of choices. I've done a delayed Valentine's Day getaway with my wife, so we'll be taking uh, maybe the shave on the road next week. I'm gonna go up to uh, Central California. Maybe go to Hertz Castle and see they opened that up again. If you haven't seen Hertz Castle, it's a pretty doggone cool thing. I've been going since I was a little kid, and uh, it, it's pretty cool. Oh, wow. I got cold water. Woo. Let that water warm up a bit. All right. Hang on. Uh, 
shave towel fell. I didn't rush this one today. See the scar? You can see where <laughs> blisters remain. All right. Here we go. And I've got another new product on the way from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. Another, uh, some new items for an upcoming shave. Okay. Yeah, I got, and got a little cut right there, see? All right. You know, it's got alcohol in it, and it's not that bad a burn. And that could be because that blade is pretty doggone crisp. It took everything out without really removing <laughs> the top layer of skin. So that's a good thing. That smells pretty good. I'm going to have to, uh, maybe in the comments, I'll write what, uh, I'll tell you what my wife thought when I walked on out and asked her to smell this, see what she thinks. She's my, uh, my scent expert, let's say. The old nose doesn't work as great as it used to. All right, everybody. Well, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the weekend. Uh, tomorrow's Friday, and this will probably be released tomorrow. So uh, enjoy the movies or whatever you're up to, and stay warm. And don't short circuit your central heating. This idiot did. All right. Bye for now, everybody.